guys, welcome to Survival Russia. Quite a good amount of equipment and uh, spare parts for the Survival Russia vehicle have arrived here at the homestead. It's pretty awesome, so uh, winter camping can, uh, can soon start. So what I want to show you today is, uh, for the first part of the equipment series here, is a Dutch one-man pop tent in the desert camo. It comes in this big bag here, being an army tent, what you can say, this is not really, it's not really the ideal backpacking tent. In the winter, I have the luxury of snow and I have the luxury of being able to use a pool sled or two and uh, that's where this tent here will go. I plan to do a winter camp out in the forest and I actually started to, to make it. But this shelter is cancelled because the weather cheated me completely. We had no real fall, we had no real autumn here, it just became frost and winter and snow boom so that went out the window with the weather i was looking to get a british arctic two-man tent actually but they were very very, very expensive it's a model from the 80s or 90s or something like this and uh, they run in like 80 100 pounds or so and i couldn't afford that so on my search for another tent I uh, settled for the Dutch one-man pop tent in the desert camo and uh, I have a friend in Holland who has a store called X Military Store and there will be links to description in that, to that store because I will of course uh, appreciate that uh, my viewers are supporting the guys who support me because he sent me this tent here without any questions we share a common interest in Soviet military vehicles and you have an awesome Gas 69 but uh, that's a completely different story. We also do this tent today because the little troll here was very, very interested in the tent. <laughs> and she always gets angry when I call her troll. In Danish, it's, a, it's very nice to say. So what do we have down here? We have a pole, tent pole. As you can see, it's uh, spring-loaded down here. So they will not come apart. I would expect this spring to break, but uh, Let's see. Then we have yet another pole. So it has two poles. That's pretty awesome. We have a little bag with what I will expect are uh, pegs. Yeah, it's pegs. There's these funky pegs here and some other pegs. Yeah. And there are original Dutch dirt in them, I can see. Awesome. And here we have the NATO stock number. Well, as I said, I've heard that these tents should be pretty tough and uh, by the looks of it from here, it uh, already looks quite tough. It's a heavy, heavy rubberized nylon here. So I will guess that the tent will be approximately this height here. <laughs> yeah, she's asking if I'm soon done talking because she wants to put up this tent here. <laughs> but come on here. You can see. Really heavy rubberized nylon corners here. Also a heavy rubber ziplock, ultra heavy ziplock, and a nice desert pattern. I never ever camped during winter in a tent. I always made shelter, so uh, it's gonna be very very interesting. And I have some for now secret plans with this. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna clean some snow over there and put up the tent and see what it looks like. Some of you might think, ah, oh, snow shovels and this and that, but some of you might also have seen that this snow shovel I actually often use as a lid on, my, on one of my pull slits. And this here, you can simply just pull off. And I can principally use any sapling in the forest, but I normally also bring this part here. I also have the small snow shovel over there. And uh, I want to put up the tent and measure out how much space I need to clean according to the length of the snow shovels. As I also say in one of my videos, mostly the ground is actually soft under the snow. But when clearing out such a space here, you of course have to work fast when it's cold because it will freeze pretty fast. And we have this ordinary system, it's pretty awesome. The heavy rubberized reinforcement up here. We're almost done with the tent. 
pretty easy to set up actually. Now I just have to measure the proximal space with the shovels. What's really neat about these tents here is you can see it has a zip lock here and also has a zip lock on the other side. It means that you can take any of these tents and zip them together as many as you want. It's actually quite genius. <laughs> the Dutch one-man pop tent on the Russian Tiger. <laughs> pretty awkward. It's a pretty neat tent actually. So my uh, reasoning for picking the Dutch one-man tent was that I of course knew it had this huge opening on each side, right? Which means that I can basically use it as an open shelter also. In front of the tent here, I will be able to to put this Hiberian log fire. That of course does not really work well with the with this cord here. So what I need to do is I have to modify it to put two strings from here. It goes out at an angle or something else. Also I will of course be able to cover the tent here in snow all the way around. <laughs> on all three sides since I will use uh, this as the front. This is the front. So you can see for one guy This is a real luxury tent. It's really really big. It can house me and a troll and a lot of equipment backpacks and so on. It's tall enough to sit in, sit upright in, which is pretty neat. It's pretty easy to set up. I'm not uh, I'm not 100% uh, Satisfied with the way I put it up. It can be done better. I'm sure I can of course also see some problems with heavy heavy snowfall on this uh, Long side it's asymmetrical It's steeper on the other side. This is just something I'll have to deal with I would really like you to check the links in the description to to Olaf store ex-military store and because I would of course appreciate that the uh, that, that you guys uh, support the people who support me. He did me this favor with no questions asked, so uh, that's pretty awesome. He also sent me a sleeping bag. I actually not been able to find anything on even on YouTube. It's really weird. So yeah, we're gonna leave the tent out here overnight and see how it goes because we have a pretty good snow coming. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get questions about this jacket here or this coat here. It's a US military issue. I think it's called uh, Desert Night Camouflage or something like this. It was used in the uh, Desert Storm. Really, really nice jacket. So that's what it is. <laughs> so thank you very much for your time, guys. If you want to help the channel out, then please check the links in the description. And sub share, subscribe, sub like. And until next time, get out and train and get it done. And see you next time right here in Wintertime Russia. Thank you very much, guys.